And now, for the Garger Grill Boxing Critically Acclaimed Series, Fight Preparation. Located in various areas of South New Jersey and Pennsylvania, the Garger Grill Brethren prepare for the biggest fight of the year. Nestled in southern New Jersey, sleep has a scheduling conflict, causing an obstacle of great magnitude. Juice box. Oh. What's up, cuz? Yo, what's going on, man? Yo, what's up? What tux? The tux. For the wet. Oh, the tuxedo for the wet. Nah, I didn't. I didn't get around to doing that. We got plenty of time for that. Um, I mean, when is May first? The wet. May first. I thought, I thought, you, you said May 1st, uh, yeah, all right, okay, <coughs> I'm just not feeling, the, I'm not feeling well right now, I'm, I'm gonna call you back, okay, let me, let me, let me give you a call back, okay, I'll call you back. Wet. I gotta get out of this wet. Gotta get out of this wet. Be a man. Be a man. Stand up for yourself. You know, that Floyd and Shane fight is way more important than that wet. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I got an idea. I got it. Yeah, y'all bums. Let's have it. Supposed to keep it elevated. Yeah, he told me I probably had his cast on for a couple weeks. Hold on, hold on. Hello? Hey, what's up, cuz? I got some bad news, man. Um, I ain't gonna be able to be in the wet, man. I, I broke my leg. Can you believe it? Playing ball. This dude just whacked me, man. He just whacked me for no reason. Cause they, yeah, I can't even use the bathroom because you gotta be a patron. No, I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking in general about On the other side of town, on sunny oh, South Street in Philadelphia, Coltrane faces an obstacle of his own. Yes. I already told you. I mean, we've been through this since Monday. I do not watch fights with casual fans. I just don't do that. That's not what I do. And you know that. Okay, okay. Like when we went and saw the Marquez fight at game night, and they didn't put the fight on to the ring entrance. That's what casual fans do. They don't care about the undercards. They don't want to put the fight on to the, to the fight actually start. What do you mean I'm being ridiculous? No, I, I'm a person of morals and principle. And that goes against all my principles and morals to watch a fight with a, with a bunch of people, like the guy that was sitting next to me and said, who's this Mexican, Mexican that Floyd Mayweather's fighting? That's, a, that, that, that's, that's just a slap in my face. Who's the Mexican Floyd Mayweather? He didn't know who Juan Manuel Marquez was, the number two ranked fighter in the world. Yeah, that's disrespectful to me. Oh, you can say I'm being ridiculous. I can say watching Desperate Housewives and DVR take delay a tire bank shows is being ridiculous. I'm very passionate about boxing. What can I say? I'm not watching a fight with a bunch of people. Often times in life we're left with a choice, and Coltrane is forced to make a decision. So what, what, what are we going to do? The docs is getting the He said it's, it's an uh, you know, open invitation. Get in the car. It's an open invitation to everybody. I'm not, I'm not yelling. I'm not. I'm just excited. <laughs> yelling and excited is totally two different things. 
Why are you so excited about this fight? Floyd already gonna win. Shane doesn't have no jab. <laughs> well, what about the Cotto and Margarito fight? Margarito cheated. <laughs> this will happen when you teach your kids too much. Um, that was no, nah, that was hard saying about the fight. Listen, I don't, I don't want to watch this fight with these people. I don't want to play games, and then the fight comes on, and I miss the ring entries and all the other stuff that I like to do. I want to be amongst, amongst the people. The people are guard your girl boxing. They are fight fans. Those are the people I like to be amongst, and you know this. I don't know why you. I don't even. I don't ask for much. All I want to do is watch the fight with the guard your girl boxing brass. What is so hard about that? Okay. No, I'm. I think I'm being very fair. All right. Well, listen. If getting a divorce over me going to watch the fight with my brethren to see the the, the, the biggest fight of Floyd Mayweather's career, then I guess it is what it is. So be it. Located in the hills of southern New Jersey, Big Mike conducts a ritual on fight day. The nervous energy is unsettled, so Big Mike trains in preparation for the big fight. Losing vital nutrients and vitamins, Big Mike must replenish. Oh! Try to get some uh, extra... Uh... Vitamin. Stuff supposed to work, man, according to Marquez. Shout out to Marquez. Ugh. In a recording studio in southern New Jersey, Gox works endlessly in an attempt to make his fight experience a memorable one. Yo, what it do, man? What's poppin'? I'm sitting here working. What y'all doing? Oh, it's his birthday party? What? Yo, I'm there, man. You know that's my dude, man. You know that that's my man's work. I'm there. Word, I'm with it. That's my man. That's my that's yeah, that's my dude. Like we go way back. I'm there. What is it? Oh, um, Saturday. Yeah, um, let me let me get back. Let me get back with Saturday, like like the first. Um, let me get back at you real quick. Once I, 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 I know better in a, in a, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna hit you back. All right. And they cut into my fight time with that one. Who keeps calling me, man? Yo, R.O.D., ride or die, what up, man? Yeah, man. Saturday, everything's still a go. Like I told Sleep, festivities, everything is, uh, jumping off at around 8.30. Nine o'clock. Keep it on the DL. Don't tell too many people. You know how it is, man. When you start spreading the word on these fight parties, everybody and their mother want to come through. And, you know, it ain't like that. This is for real fans this time out. So, yeah. So, um, all right. Get at me. All right, man. <laughs> Yo, yo, what up, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. You know, doing this. You know, doing what I do. You know. You got tickets to the game? Are you lying? You got tickets to the to the to the Cleveland game, Cleveland Boston game, for Saturday. You lying? Oh, you got extra ticket? Yo. What's up? Yeah, I'm there. Hold on. What's Saturday? This Saturday. Saturday, May 1st. Oh, man. Um, it's in Cleveland, right? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to call you back. I'm going to holler at you. I, I think, I, I, yeah. Um, I can go. I can go. You know, no, no, I can go. I can go. Hold on. You know, let, let me hit you right back, dog. Let me figure this out. Um, May 1st. Yeah, I'm going to call you back. Man, I don't know about all of that. Brian, you good and everything, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I can. Uh, I don't know. Yo, 
What up, man? Hey, I ain't doing nothing. Just chilling. Chilling, you know. Yeah, we always do. Oh man, I told you I could help you with help you move anytime, man. You you helped me out the last time. I told you I can help you, man. You know, I believe in returning favors. I'm not a phony dude. I, you don't gotta you don't gotta call nobody to help you. I got you. I'm there, man. Just say just say when. Say the time and I got you. You know what I'm saying? I I can't forget what you did. When is it? This Saturday? You got to be out by this Saturday? 